Bart Denny 5 Gamers. Today we are watching some more co-op. Specifically, we are checking out sets from day one of CN Mainland. Now, I've already seen all of CN Mainland, like the latter half, but on YouTube, there weren't really any good videos for it. Now, you can skip ahead of this, but I need to rant real quick. So, on the Japanese channel, they've been covering the CN Mainland stuff, right? But here's the thing. Not all of them. They only kind of did like the latter half. They did some days, but we missed out on 11 whole sets. We have to go through 11 sets. Not all in this video. We're only watching two sets today. But we got 11 sets that we missed. So we're going to be watching them. Uh, but the thing is, I had to go through the entire bracket and find it out. I wrote like the, all these note cards, dude. I had to go through each little thing, find all the matches. It took like two hours to keep track of it all, dude. Because CN Mainline has so many teams and like such huge, jank looking brackets. And I finally figured it out, thank goodness. So, we're, we're gonna get into it today. We're gonna watch the rest of day one stuff. Um, and yeah, we should be good. Oh, sorry, just had to rant there for a bit. Oh yeah, I also, in my limited time public map thing, I forgot to um, accept all the rewards, so I'm gonna do that here real fast. We get the cute little boat sticker, or sorry, not sticker, the portrait, so very cool. Now we have all the uh, public map quests done. And I also want to do the next check-in uh, day for On and Puppets. Let's see, this is day three, so this is going to be the Bainster. Bonk. Oh, it's Bane! He looks so goofy, what the heck? He actually looks so stupid. Today we have Puppet Bane! The introverted and timid Bane. Is that really? Is that really? Is he? He doesn't, see, I, he doesn't seem like he'd be in, uh, introverted or timid. He will, in his own way, express the true meaning of friendship to his companions. Interesting. Okay, we get the portrait frame corner of the theater, an unforgettable of performance. Yeah, I've already seen the first episode of uh, Arnold Puppet. It's, it's, it was pretty interesting. Um, pretty curious to see how uh, when Bane is gonna get into the freaking uh, show, because they, they advertise him as like one of the main three characters. It's supposed to be like Smiley, uh, Leo, and Bane. Or uh, yeah, so I, I guess we'll see some other characters. I know Geisha showed up in the first episode, but I don't know what other hunters they're gonna have. We'll have to see. All right, everybody, here we go. On to the first set. This is round one, first half. Unfortunately, the way that these are edited, um, they're on a different channel. This is like a re-uploaded channel. It's not on like the Japanese channel. It's on a channel called CCC. I'll link it in the description. But they basically uploaded these matches that were on Billy Billy only. And uh, they they put it on YouTube so that I don't have to go and make a Billy Billy account. So anyway, uh, we're gonna see coordinator, perfumer, mercenary, and cheerleader going up against the opera singer. Uh, detention, trump card, excitement on the opera singer. We've got Borrowed time knee jerk on everybody but the mercenary with borrowed time tied. Interesting stuff. So it is going to be GR versus uh, XMG here. And I believe this was actually the very first set of uh, CN Mainland, if I'm not correct. So this will be pretty interesting to see how this goes. The quality uh, is a slightly worse than um, the, the, the rest of the streams, but I think that's just the OG Billy Billy quality. So I apologize for that, but it, it's still watchable if you ask me. It's still watchable. But the, the main reason I'm watching this is so I can uh, say that I've commented every single Koa set slash match. Um, so yeah, having a really good mind game here from the uh, the coordinator uh, onto this opera. So he's just not breaking the power for some reason. She, okay, I don't know why. She bought like, th that coordinator hasn't even kited that long. She, oh, well, there's the excitement. <laughs> there's the excitement. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, that's, that, I mean, that's, that's all you brought the excitement for, right? Who else are you going to use excitement for? The pallet stun? I don't know. I guess she really wanted to chase the coordinator. That's really weird. Like, Opera bringing excitement. I don't know. I mean, her base kit is already strong enough. She really doesn't even need a trait. Uh, waiting, waiting. Ooh, but the Nidra Reflex speed. Let's go. Beautiful. And if you had Blink, I'm just saying, if you had Blink, you could get a hit there. Uh, I mean, I guess she would have Blink for first hit. But yeah, the thing is, like, this Opera was really odd because they just kind of, like, sat at that pallet for a good 15 seconds and they just let coordinator sit there like if she just broke the pallet it would have continued like I don't, I don't know why i'm not sure what that is gonna what that's not window hit no way no way this kite feels so j it feels this kite really feels so sluggish and yet it's just working i don't know if it's just the opera singer herself but she feels kind of sluggish i don't know maybe maybe that's just me maybe that's just me can she get this Okay, I was about to say, if that didn't count as a window hit or a terror shock, I was gonna scream, bro. I was actually gonna scream. But yeah, that was a very solid kite from the coordinator. Uh, they can actually make this a draw, probably? Yeah, because it's, it's opera, she's got, uh, you know, trump card. And, and the excitement actually did come into play there, but it was excitement for first hit. That's basically like blinking for first hit. And it only really worked because you were chasing the coordinator. Like, if you chased any of the other three characters, your excitement was pointless. Um... So yeah, I, I don't know why operas bring excitement. I don't, I don't really know why. 
I, it worked out in this case if you're really trying to chase the coordinator, but I still feel like Blinkist is better. It, it, you're opera singer, dude. You're just opera singer. So now at this point, they're just kind of feeding Tinnitus here. Are they going to rescue before, after half? Okay. It turns out the Perfume is actually coming for the rescue, which is a little weird. You think the Mercenary would come in? All right. Don't get Terra Shocked now. Don't get Terra Shocked. Okay. Can we body block? Oh, no body block. No body block. All right. Well, now she kind of just got farmed. She kind of just got farmed. Now, Perfumer should be swapping places with the Mercenary here because the Mercenary does have Tide. He should come in, let Coordinator, uh, let, 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 let Coordinator just, you know, farm off Tide, die in a corner, all that good stuff. Uh, it looks like that is going to be the case. Yep, Heart is coming on in here, the Mercenary. And Opera's kind of just forced to stick around. She cannot really pressure down Cyphers. She's not really at full prez, so she has to, yep, just keep TPing back a little bit early. And there is the Mercenary. Does he elbow pad here? Yep, Zniroom. There goes the elbow pad. Good stuff from the Merc. And he gets the rescue. No, he doesn't. He's stalling it. He's just stalling it out, stalling it out. Stalling out for a little extra time. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, let's see. Do they opt to body block? It looks like he is going to opt to body block. Um, and which is kind of unfortunate because you would, you would have rather have the tide farmed off first and then Perfumer does her body block thing if she comes in second. So I guess the rescues are a little bit out of order, but you know, not, not every game can go exactly how you want it. Does she make this? She does not make that. No, she does not make that. Uh, they can't even heal stall. The Cypher will not be ready in time. So yeah, this this coordinator is going to die, but they will get the Cypher popped, right? They will get the Cypher popped, I think, before... Actually, wait. No, no, they get that popped. They get that popped. Never mind. It's going to be... It's like super close, though. It's super close. So yeah, this, this should be a solid draw. This should be a solid draw. A solid draw, indeed. And yep, Perfumer... TP back, TP back, yep. As long as Perfumer can cut out just a little bit, they're good. They're good, they're good. Uh, I don't know why she's chasing the Perfumer, though. I feel like you should maybe TP to a gate, because she's out in the open right now. Oh, just blinks. Okay, you know what? That's fine, that's fine. If you're gonna you're gonna get a draw from this anyway, that's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Can she get more? Nah, she's, she's like, yeah, yeah, Mercenary with, with delayed damage. Wait, but he doesn't have delayed damage, though. Oh, but she's probably worried about Perfumer picking herself up. I mean, Perfumer heals slowly, doesn't she? Isn't, isn't it like 20% healing debuff or something? I don't know. Well, either way, Mercenary's gonna get out. That is a draw. And that's fine. You know what? If you're, if you're GR right now, that's all you need. If you can play for draws or even just one escape, that's honestly all you need against Opera. She's just the, the best hunter in the game. If you can get draws, you're set, dude. Alrighty, here we go. On to round one, second half. We're going to see First Officer, Perfumer, uh, Novelist, and Aeroplanist going up against the Opera Singer. We've got Attention, Trump Card, and Blink on Opera. And then Borrowed Time, Tide, Officer, and then Borrowed Time, Knee Jerk. Uh, Perfumer, Bar Time, Tide Turner on Aeroplanist, and then Bar Time Flywheel on the Novelist. Okay, Flywheel is an interesting choice. Typically, you don't really see Flywheel come out that often. Oh, and you're running right into her officer. That's funny. <laughs> you ran right into her, buddy. Right into her. Yep, he's going to have to immediately start using that watch. Will she be able to get an early hit here? Let's see. Ooh, okay. That was, that was really good. That was really good. Not predictable in the slightest, and Opera, it looks like she might be just pursuing the Novelist, I think? She's gonna have, yeah, she's gonna have um, Fast Pelt Break and Berserk on the Persona Web as well. Who is this? Is that Perfumer right over there? I believe that's the Perfumer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. That's not a bad, that's not bad. Oh, but she TP's back, TP's back. And this is the back on the Novelist, back on the Novelist. I mean, she's chasing one of their kiters. Here we go. He's gonna swap. And it does cancel her dash. Another reason why uh, Orphe is very, very good versus Opera Singer. Not just because of the swapping of the places for Palette Suns, but also just canceling the uh, the dashes and whatnot. I, I absolutely love uh, Novelist versus uh, Opera Singer. Because again, it, th this character was illegal for so long. And let me see if I can swap here. Swap, swap, swap. Oh, he's going to take the hit. He could have swapped there. He had Metaphor. I'm not really sure why Aeroplanist. What are we doing? Is he going to try and eat a blink for him? What is this? Oh, oh. Oh, wait. Interesting. Okay, they have Aeroplane. Is to oh, he has... Oh, that was a long pallet stun. I wonder if maybe, maybe he has increased pallet stun um, length in his Persona web there. Maybe that's part of the, maybe that's part of the team synergy. Okay, here comes here comes another watch. And now and now they can actually heal up the Novice if they so choose. Uh, novice is going to head toward Perfumer and it looks like they are going to probably heal up. This is this is real this is looking really soft for the survivors. I mean, don't get me wrong, the cipher progress is pretty slow. And their resources are being depleted. First officer has no watches, and uh, novelist has no metaphor right now. But one of those can be recharged. And Charles, let's see, he's gonna hover actually, hovers to all the way over here. And Opera does still have her dash. Let's see, does she blink, blink in? 
Oh, he's ready for it. He's ready for it. Very smart. Very smart. Should I probably just blink past this and get the down? Yeah, blink past this. And where's the down? Where's the down? Oh, nice. Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay. A, a lost mind game, but that's fine. That's fine. He, he It was a very long kite. Um, the ciphers... Although, yeah, the ciphers actually kind of suck. You know, actually, the more I think about it, that was actually kind of bad. Well, sort of. Sort of. So here's the thing. It's bad, but... Keyword being... Actually, no, it's probably just bad for the survivors. Because their, survivor, their cyber progress is too slow, and their rescuer can't rescue. Yep, he, she knew she knew where he'd come from. He has, he has no items or anything. Yeah, that's actually just bad. The ciphers are just way too slow. If the ciphers were, like, much farther along, then I'd say yes. But the thing is, they have a tide character on the chair right now. And their resources are lower than ever. Yep, yeah, okay, Aeroplanus. Oh, oh! Dude, he's so goofy with it, I swear. And that hit Nov that's Novelist, that's Novelist, that hits Novelist. Does she pick up Novelist, though? She does ought to pick up Novelist. Okay. This isn't terrible, because I guess you could Tide Rescue this. Uh, he won't be able to struggle free. Okay. But yeah, look at look at the Cyphers are still super slow. They are still so slow, and like they have damage across the board. Perfect still has her items, but yeah, now she's just going to get aggressive here because she can afford to. Yep, two injured people are right here. And he does fly away. He does fly away, but he's out of jetpacks. Out of jetpacks. Yep. No more jetpacks for old Charles. And there goes their second tide. Then go rescue novice. Yeah, this is actually just looking really good for the opera singer. Like, the, don't get me wrong. The teamwork was nice. The kiting initially was nice, but the ciphers—they just weren't far far along enough. And I thought the, the one thing I thought was like, okay, well maybe they're not far along enough. But guess what? You have accelerated decoding. But. It doesn't matter. Like, I saw decoding doesn't matter if you lose people. And they're gonna lose people here soon. It looks like the uh, first officer did find a syringe. He's gonna heal up with the syringe. And uh, is about to get healed up. But they, he can't make the rescue. Nobody can. Nobody can make that rescue. So he, he gets the heal off with the syringe. Um, decoding is not happening at all. And Charles just dies. That's actually really bad. That is... This is, this is, not, this is not great right now. This is not great at all for the survivors. And there, okay, waiting out perfume, waiting out perfume. Gets to the pallet, swings, and goes back. Okay, dang, that perfume was like at the very tail end. That was like the last second. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was about to say she had no dash up, so she just TPs a little bit closer. So let's see, perfume again, perfume again soon. Let's see, let's see, no dash and. Okay, nice, nice. She's waiting. She's literally just waiting. Oh, swaps a TP. She's like, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Why bother? Oh. That hit? No way. I can't believe that hit. What the heck? But yeah, look, look at their resources. The ciphers are bad, and their resources are extremely low. All we have is a perfumer with uh, one perfume. Officer has nothing. Dang, she's just walking through the pallets. She doesn't care. She has, like, disrespected, like, every pallet. She literally does not care. Sheesh. I think she's respected the pallet maybe, like, a couple times. Otherwise, she's flying through those things, dude. My goodness. And then, yeah, Novelist. Novelist only has, a, like, what? 40% of a metaphor charged up. And now she can just kind of clean up the pallets here. Perfumer is here. But it doesn't matter. Okay, there's the last perfume. No more perfume. No more perfume. Yep. No more perfume. And it's rescue time. Oh, uh, yeah. It's right. You have to rescue now. But the thing is, none of them have any resources. It's just going to be rock hiding. You can just hit the perfume. Who cares? I don't know why she walked right back into the opera. I guess to, like trade places maybe but the ciphers again the ciphers are too slow and novice for some reason is getting off his cipher uh i guess they're gonna try and play for a one escape here this is yeah this is not looking good uh for the survivors again opera opera's been doing really well she, she's been doing solid but you know when it, whenever it comes to an opera singer game i can't help but root for the survivors because it's opera singer like nobody wants to see an opera singer win like come on <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's, it's we're playing the long game out here. We're playing the long game. Novelist, again, just doesn't have any resources. And yep. Okay, she respected the pallet that time, but I think he was going to try and go back for a pallet stun. So she can just leave him on the ground and just go find out where the officer is. Yeah, Perfumer is not getting rescued. This is a 4K. This is a 4K. I don't, I don't even need to see the end of it to know this is a 4K. There's there's just no coming back from this. Absolutely no coming back from this. Yep, already spotted out the, the officer. Dang, she, like, freaking echolocated that guy so easily. <laughs> Echolocated. I don't know. I don't know how she knew exactly where he was, though. That was like kind of crazy. That was actually kind of crazy. 
Now let's see. Will she go for the uh, will she go for the strategy where they pick people up and then they struggle free, or is she just gonna? Or is she just gonna chair? It, it really depends. We, we see some hunters go for like the guaranteed uh, 4K where they like drag them all the way back. But no, she's just gonna opt to chair. I actually appreciate that because I did not want to watch like eight minutes of just bleeding out footage. And oh, that's probably why, because she has TP. Oh, he actually gets back up. That's surprising. But again, it doesn't matter. He's an officer, no resources, only rock hiding. That's a 4K. Yeah, that's a 4K. All right, well, good stuff to GR. I mean, they played that well. They played that well. Uh, a bit unfortunate that I had to see a 4K. I don't really like seeing 4Ks, but you know, it's opera. It's to be expected. On to the next match. We're going to see a very interesting team here. We've got Aeroplanist Coordinator, Mercenary Lawyer, going up against an evil reptilian. Uh, Evo Tilling actually running Patroller. Now, Patroller Evo Tilling is interesting because you can get the Patroller Bite, use the drop down Grand Slam first presence ability into a basic attack and get like a free down, but I think the timing is really strict. And I think you need a specific build for it. The build where it's like, when you come down from a high area, you get like a speed boost or something. But we're gonna see Borrow Time Tide on the Mercenary and the Aeroplanist Borrow Time Flywheel on the Coordinator, and then Borrow Time Knee Jerk on the Lawyer here. So GR, they are sitting in a very good spot right now. All they can really do or all they really have to do, rather, is they just have to play for ties. They really just have to play for ties right now. And it looks like Lawyer did spawn in the two-star area, and he's going to opt to chase the Lawyer here first. Uh, does Silent Vault, so he's going to have to go all the way up. Oh, he's going to go around. I actually couldn't tell if that was Silent Vault or not. They freaking zoomed out. Uh, but yeah, this could be good because if, yeah this is lawyer again lawyer is an annoying first chase target at top level because he he can just transition so well he has location on you at all times so he he can like just kind of predict your movements and route so there's like no way to mind game him which is what's really annoying which is why which is why lawyer is again so strong he's just such a strong character has it's strong stats the map is so good for early game not just for yourself but also for telling your teammates like where he's going like, he, he, has had, he has had the map open this entire time. And this entire time, he's still moving. You don't want to stand still as a lawyer ever, because while you're moving, you get speed bonuses. So his, his passive speed is probably not maxed out yet, but it's probably pretty close. So he's about to have a 3.5% movement speed buff, which can help out his rock hiding. And guess what? He is not even going to opt to chase the lawyer. And look at this. He, haven't, he hasn't even found a target. And look at the ciphers. This isn't even kiting. This this is not even cutting. This this is when, like, as a hunter, this feels so bad because it's been a whole minute and he hasn't even seen anybody. This is why Laura can be so annoying, dude. This is exactly why. Especially with a character that isn't very strong early game, like uh, Lucino. It, it can be really rough. And, uh... Yeah, Charles actually did use a very early jetpack just to maintain distance on this, uh... On this evil reptilian, gonna opt to go back into the tent. The reason why he's doing this is so that he can't jump. I'm pretty sure you can't jump like super well. Oh, he just. Okay, so we're just not gonna drop any pallets at all. Um, we're just gonna let him walk right through it. That's a little weird. He's actually opting to save his patroller. Never mind. Okay, he's gonna use his patroller right here. I thought he was gonna use the patroller for the rescue. I I've seen patrollers to stuff out rescues again with the same drop down sort of a, uh, you know, basic hit attack. But I guess he's maybe not gonna opt to do that because there is a mercenary. And uh, he's actually doing a good job of kiting and vaults into him for some reason. I think I think he vaulted to cancel the patroller bite and then just kind of lost the mind game because he saw that the Evo Team was going to come around. Thought he could vault in, cancel the patroller bite. So yeah, that was actually probably the smartest play there. Um, it, it, was, it was probably the smartest play because the thing is, you either stay on the other side, get get patroller bit and die like two seconds later, or take the risk and potentially extend the kite for like another 10 seconds. So I think that was a worthwhile risk if all the uh, risk was like, you know, three seconds or whatever. So let's see. The mercenary is here, gets the rescue, and he doesn't even notice. Oh, not quite, not quite. Are we going to see Grand Slam? Dang, he just avoids Grand Slam. Okay. No Terra Shock? No Terra Shock? Okay. Very good rescue. Look, the survivors are doing really well. Look at, look at, look at the Cypher progress. Oh, that Cypher progress is looking really, really good. So if I'm Charles here, what I do is I don't use any of my resources to kite right now. I want to far. I want to like wait until tide's over and then try. He just walks through the pallet again. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good. See, I'm glad. I'm glad. I've seen a lot of players in situations like this where they use stuff like hover in their jetpacks. No. If you if you have tide, if you have tide, don't waste your resources if it's like your first chair. Only do it if it's your last chair. I, I, I'm I'm a firm believer. In, I'm a firm believer in just like letting yourself die when you have tide and just going to a better area. Like that. That's what I think at least. Uh, patroller is going to be back up. He could actually stuff out a rescue hero patroller. Um, they are working on the last cipher here, but it is coordinator. It is coordinator going for this rescue. So it's going to be pretty safe. We can save the gun for end game. Watch out for Grand Slam. Uh, she flywheels. Oh, Mercenary actually gets hit by the Grand Slam. Okay, okay. Stalling the chair. Stalling the chair. 
Mercenary trying to get the rescue. And, 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 and. What? Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. You weren't even. Okay. So. Why excitement? I know there was a coordinator there and she could have shot the gun and then. I guess maybe that's why. Is it excitement to. So you can pick up the mercenary, put him in the chair? Is that why? I. I. I, I don't understand. Because she still has the gun. She still has the gun, so what are you gonna do now? She still has the gun. You're you're about to get four escaped. You're actually about to get four escaped. Oh, hold on. The gun! They got that! Oh my gosh, you're actually getting four escaped right now. You're kidding. Oh, you're kidding. Why did you swap to excitement there? You could have at least got the aeroplane down if you didn't. Oh, that's a four escape. That hurt. That hurt to watch. That actually hurt to watch. Wow. Alrighty, here we go. It's round two, second half. We're gonna see the Bainster out here with detention and blink only. Which is weird. No trump card or anything. Uh, I mean, I guess they're ahead, so they don't really need to push for something like that. As long as they can get a draw, he's chilling. He's actually chilling. Uh, we have Seer, Mercenary, Prospector, and Aeroplanist on the team. Uh, Aeroplanist with Borrow Time Tied, same with Mercenary, and then Borrow Time Knee Jerk on Seer. Then Borrow Time Flywheel on the Prospector. Pretty standard builds across the uh, across the team now. Again, uh, they're going to need uh, Z ZMX here. They're going to need a uh, zero escape, uh, or sorry, zero four four escape. My bad, a four escape um, to uh, start evening up this uh, this set here. But again, I'm pretty sure it ends uh, from this game because yeah, it's 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 gonna be rough. I'm, I'm pretty sure a draw just ends the set here. I'm pretty sure it just ends the set. Now, of course, since I've already seen the ending of the CN mainland. Um, you know, division. I'm going back and watching the early matches, so I kind of already know what teams make it through, but it's more just like a how does it happen kind of thing, right? It's more just how does it happen. So, yeah, I guess an early hit under the Aeroplanist there. I feel like Godkite is a weird place for Bane because there's a lot of walls, right? Which can be really annoying because you can't get the hooks, but at the same time, every time you use those walls, you slow down the survivor when you use your hookup against and cool. Oh, jetpack? Nice, nice. He just used the jetpack as as a as a flywheel, and we see blink here. Nope, no blink, no blink. All right, what what he should do here is try and mind gain this pallet, force out blink. Oh, beautiful owl, beautiful owl. That was such a good owl. Wow, the reaction time of that seer dude. That was beautiful. And yeah, one more, one more jetpack, one more jetpack. Yeah, but gets caught though. Gets caught. Oh. Oh, maybe 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 waiting for a flywheel there. That was probably like waiting for a flywheel. Okay. Yeah, I, I see I see a lot of baits just wait for flywheel and this is gonna be basement too. Yeah, this is gonna be basement But mercenary's already here. He's already here. He, sh he should like head down immediately. This should probably be an instant rescue uh, The kite wasn't bad though. The kite was not bad. Is he gonna just wait it out? Oh Is he gonna I guess he's just gonna wait it out. Okay. I thought he would instant rescue But Bane knows he, he has to nice the thing is this this area is so good for Bane because you can just trap off the entrances And then there's like nothing that they can do and it can be really annoying to rescue somebody in here against Bane. Like if you if you have base in, in this area, and you're in your uh, you know if your teammate has base in this area and you're fighting against a Bane, honestly you should probably just sell because Bane will like unless you're there like from the start like unless you're already there, there's probably no way you're getting that base in rescue. Like the, the mercenary played it really really well. He gets the drop down hit actually. That's a bit unfortunate um, for the stars once again. But again it's it's base in, it's base in. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? He is a full presence. Uh, yep, and he's gonna start trapping this place off. Gets the hook for a reason, I guess. He's just trying to he's just trying to like push him away. Yeah, push him away. Make it so he can't use enough. Oh, but the prospector, wait! The Norton is here! But he can't he can't really there's nothing here to work with. There's nothing for him to work with. Right here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can he can he Oh, nice, nice! Okay. He gets the body block. What? Dude, Bane's hook. Bane's hook is like the biggest freaking cheese like I've seen this entire game. Let's see, stun, stun. He's walking. Oh, he broke it. No, he didn't break it. He didn't break it. He did not break it. There's the stun. Oh, he dropped. He, he dropped. He dropped. He dropped. Okay, but Processor stalled that out for a good amount of time. That was like a solid 20, maybe 30 seconds he stalled that out. Uh, thing is, though, Cyphers. They don't have Cyphers. They just don't have Cyphers. Yep. So at this point, they feed tonight his cell. There's no, there's no way they can get this rescue safely. 
uh, mercenaries coming in. Well, I guess I say that, but the whole point is they have to get more people out. Yeah, so that's what I would say in a normal game. But again, this is this is a game where they need a lot of people out the gate, a four escape to catch up. And yeah, there's nothing he can do. Mercenary, mercenary comes in, there's a trap. And if he was there from the start, maybe. Oh my gosh, and he just dies. Yeah, because he already had a chip from the earlier hook. That, that's what that's what could be so annoying about Bane is you have a little chip on you and then all it takes is you know chip into down like that's all it takes dude oh man the rise of Bane truly is interesting especially in CN dude in CN he's like crazy like we, we saw plenty of JP matches on stream we saw plenty of other uh you know regions and there wasn't much Bane I believe there's one Bane game in NAU uh, like a couple Bane games in SK and I think maybe like I don't think I saw a single Bane game in all of JP and yeah, in, in, in CN, he's everywhere, dude. Bane is literally everywhere. And yeah, at this point, um, GR takes this because he could drag all the way back to basement. Uh, he might actually have giant claw. Oh. Okay, not, not gonna opt to drag, or drag back to basement. I wonder why. Because um, he knows the Cypher is probably gonna be ready soon. He has to this from the Mercenary. Mercenary still has two, a couple elbow pads here, but not, you can't put any traps here because uh, there's a certain range on the chair where you can't place traps. I don't know how long it is, but I've been told it's like decently big, which is why when you're down in basement, I think you can still set up traps on like part of the entrances, which could be really, really good. Which is why my bin is just so good at camping in this area. So the cipher is primed, but they need like three people out the gate, and I don't even. Oh, well, that's funny. So you just trap instant down body block, or oh, oh, okay, interesting. Elbow, okay, elbow pads in, elbow pads in. There's the pot. Get the rescue. We got a magnet. We got a magnet. All right. And he's just going to opt to go to God Kite. Goes after the mercenary. He is an elbow pad again. Okay, no more elbow pads on the mercenary. Yeah, opting to, opt to go for the mercenary is weird because the prospector is dead on chair, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yup, yup. That's a Bane hook moment. That's a Bane hook moment. Okay, yeah, I, don't, I don't know why he goes with the mercenary. I guess, oh, because he can slug it out. He can slug it out. So yeah, he can, he can go and try to find the prospector now. Yep, he can go try to find him. Uh, does he see him? Does he see him? No. Okay, he hides it out. He hides it out. He's going back. He's going back. He knows he's got to be nearby. He knows. But at this point, it's a, it's a 3K or a draw. And, and either one of them, he's like, yeah, I'll just go for the draw. At this point, you don't, you don't need to push for anything more. You can literally just go for the draw and you win. Like, I'm pretty sure a tie just wins you this set. So you don't, you don't even have to, like, worry about it. Now, the survivors here, they have to worry about it. Because they have to, like, you know, get him out. They have to get this mercenary out. And they could rescue after, or once the tension is over, because uh, the mercenary has a long chair time. So if you come in right up or at the very end, you'll have like five seconds probably to uh, to rescue him without detention. But the thing is, you're also a half health prospector, so it doesn't even matter. It just doesn't even matter. And Seer just has no owl, so it's it's just over. It is just over. The blink. No way, he blinks in to make sure nobody's getting this rescue. That's crazy. And yep, there's the prospector. He's got three magnets. And magnet, magnet. Flywheels. Repel. Oh, oh, that's just it. That's it, yeah. He couldn't really get behind the chair. He wanted he wanted to bait. He wanted to bait like a, a, a chair hit or whatever. Good try there. Good, good attempt. Good try. Good try. That's a good try. But yep. GR is the winner. Congrats to GR there. All right, now we're on to the next set. We've got HHDG versus FPXZQ very early on in bracket. I believe these teams actually faced off against each other um, on day five of CN Mainland, but now we get to see how they do on day one of CN Mainland. So we're gonna see DX coming out here first, seen as one of the best hunters in the business. We've got Detention, Trump Card, and Blink on the Opera, and we're going to see Borrowed Time tied on the Aeroplanist, tied uh, Knee Jerk on the... Uh, Magician, borrow time knee jerk on the perfumer and then coordinate it with uh, the exact same build, borrow time knee jerk. Okay, so th this should be a really good set. This should be a really good set because again, while it is early on in the bracket, these are two very, very good teams. Dang, right from the start? That's like five seconds in, five seconds in and Charles already using his freaking uh, his freaking jetpack. So it looks like the, the full build is uh, fast pallet break and berserk on the opera singer. Um, that can definitely help her snowball, especially when people are gonna go in for the rescue here. Now, Aeroplanus is not the person you want to take the kite. You really don't want to have Aeroplanus take the kite here. He does take a hit there, yep. Really good TP back from DX there. Uh, but it's 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 not the person you want to take the kite. Because again, this is this is your main tide user, your borrowed time tide user. You really don't want to have to have him taking the kite. And that is uh 
That's his uh, second jetpack there, so he only has one more jetpack. Um, gonna be able to play around this window here. He doesn't actually make it to this power. I'm pretty sure he just dies here. Yeah, he just dies. That's pretty rough. Um, that's our pretty fast down. Uh, that, that's, you know what? Uh, oh. What? What? Oh! Oh, what? Is that a mobile thing? Okay, that, that surely is a mobile thing, because on, on, on PC, I'm a PC player. I'm pretty sure the button to pick up a survivor is different from checking a locker, but it, I guess he just like crawled toward the locker to make him miss input there. Okay, that, that's interesting, that's interesting. That actually that actually bought like a couple extra seconds there. Interesting stuff. Okay, well, that, that is, again, that, that is the first chair. Magician is gonna try and uh, make his way toward the chair, but uh, the opera is sort of cutting him off here a little bit. He can't really get in safely. Yeah, he's actually being pushed back. He actually is being pushed back. Let's see, he's gonna have to you know, maybe use a wand here. Yep, there's the wand. And no prediction, no prediction. Okay, TP back, TP back. Who's gonna come up for the rescue? Is it gonna be the coordinator? Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the coordinator, that's the coordinator. Okay, the coordinator can guarantee a rebound here. A slight, a, a very small rebound. Wait, they have two people going in for this rescue. Oh, it's Kyoko, let's go. I love that skin. Got, got, gotta love Kyoko Kirigiri. Um, okay, no, it is gonna be mage. It is gonna be mage. I guess, I guess uh, he, they're probably gonna run towards the coordinator. Oh no, I guess she's going to the next cipher because she already finished her, uh, her first cipher. I see, I see. Oh wow, dang, dang, DX, beautiful TPS, actual beautiful TPS. All right, yeah, yeah you know, make the coordinator run away because now, now I can just you know maybe pressure down the court. No, he's gonna, yeah, he's, he's just gonna uh, opt to opt to opt to just get rid of the arrow plan. He's dying in a corner. Yep. Wait, is Coordinator gonna, Oh, Are we gonna see a balloon drop potential? Nah, she's just on her Cypher, okay. Yeah, the thing is, even if you got the balloon hit, by the time you run to like all this area, Opera will just be able to catch up so fast. It's just it's just not worth it, dude. In, the, in this meta, it's just really not worth a gun balloon drop. Uh, I guess sometimes it is, but like, I don't know. I feel like gun is better to guarantee rebounds as opposed to gun dropping because a good amount of the time, the survivors take forever to hit the floor and then by the time they can get up and run, hunters just use like a speed boost and catch up instantly. Like if, if you're like, if it's a night watch, uh, an opera singer, anybody who's basically fast, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Like Cord's gun is just not great for balloon dropping. However, for getting a solid rebound off, that's much better. That That is that is what you want from it. It's, it's better to guarantee just like distance and rebound. Um, okay, good, good, very good perfume, very good perfume back. Doesn't take the hit, but just, just using it for, um, Using it for distance. Might be able to do the same trick here. Vaults back through. Vaults back through. Okay. Isn't deep sandbags here? Perfumer. Do we see? That's going to be death. Yep, that's going to be death. Opera is just too fast. The dude, she is just too fast. They're going to cross on through that. I love how she spins the mask. It's so goofy. She throws it through the window. It just floats in the air. And she's like, give me that back. <laughs> I, I always thought her vaulting animation looked goofy as heck, dude. Okay. So Coordinator is the only one who can safely rescue here. They actually are somewhat cypher rushing her. But I don't think the first kite was long enough. If the first kite was 20 seconds longer, honestly, they'd be in a really good spot. They would be in a really, really good spot here. But yeah, that, that first kite was just not really that good. The Ideally, they wanted literally anybody but the aeroplane to take the first kite, honestly. Coordinator uh, probably would be the second worst option. I mean, she has gun. Gun is always really good. I, I would say I would say Perfumer or Magician was probably the best, uh, the best people to take the kite for the survivors, of course. Um, but yeah, when, when you're opera singer, you can kind of just chase a rescuer and it really doesn't matter. They still actually have that, uh, they still have that, that, that pallet over there, which is really nice. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I couldn't tell from the fire if he vaulted through or not, but it looked like he vaulted through. And he's going to be able to make it to this pallet here. Yep, drop the pallet. And they did actually get the rescue, but she's completely just dedicated to this mercenary, or the mercenary, what? This magician now. Yeah, mercenary looking kind of different today, huh? Uh, that's his last wand, though. That's the last wand. Okay, tries for the window hit, but yep, he's got he gets a little speed boost from the uh, from the wand, so he's he's chilling out there. Dang, that still hits, dude. Opera is just so fast, and yep, they're gonna double rush the next cipher, but she does have TP, so I'm wondering, will, will she will she TP to the cipher? I think I think if you're opera singer, you should TP to the cipher here, because as long as they don't have a cipher, you're fine. You are actually fine, unless she gets like immediate tonight, which she will, she will not. Does she immediate TP? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. She's, gonna, she's looking for the she's looking for the tap TP. Yup, TP TP. See the thing is, as long as you're preventing the cipher pop, you're doing well. It doesn't matter. You can just keep making forcing people to rescue you back and forth. As long as they don't have a cipher to pop, you're fine. Now the thing is, there is a cipher at 46, which they can go like you know, just scr scramble to. They can both go try to double rush it. But this also you know relies on your oh interesting. I would say this also relies on that. what? 
Huh? That somehow didn't hit. Um, okay, okay. Teaching teaching the opera some respect. I gotta say, it relies on your perfumer to kite this out a little bit. Um, will she actually be able to kite it out until the cipher is ready? I think she can. I think she actually can. TP, yup, yup, but it's so, it's so obvious, it's so obvious. And now the Cypher is ready, this is a draw. This is a draw, actually. The Perfumer is actually kiting it out. Yo, the Perfumer meta has returned. I don't know if she was ever like meta. All I know is she's like a kind of weak character now, but against Opera, she's not even bad because she just tanks. And... What, the, what, why? Are you trying to bait like an item? Are you trying to, what are you trying to bait? You know the Cypher's primed. Okay. Pop? Yep, okay. The thing is, DX is not gonna wait for the attack card. Just wait till wait, wait till DX is in an animation, then you pop. That makes sense, that makes sense. Okay, this should be a draw though. This should be a solid draw. Now, Perfumer can't leave the shack because... Never mind. you can leave the shack. Okay, gun, do we see gun? It's open area, open area? She's just so fast though, she's just so fast. That's so stupid. Uh, I hate Opera Singer versus Cord, bro. She's so fast that she can just dodge the gun. All right, Kyoko, it's up to you. Rock height this out, rock height this out. TP is almost back up though, TP is almost back up. I don't think she can afford a TP. She could she could kill Cord then TP. Okay, let's see, will she TP, will she TP? Cause she can, you can TP, yeah, TP then teleport back. You might be able to snag an extra kill here. Nope, that's a draw, that's a draw. Mage, yo, what are you doing bro? Yeah, cause you can just TP back, it doesn't matter, she just crawl all the way back. Okay, so the gun didn't really matter in hindsight. I guess she even, mm, no, she didn't know where dungeon was. She, she kind of toured a different area, yeah. So that's a solid draw, that's a solid draw, solid draw. On to round one, second half, we are going to see Opera Singer once again. That's round one, what do you expect? Uh, and we gotta see Aeroplanist, Magician, Coordinator, and Mercenary. Pretty much the exact same team, except opting to swap out their uh, Perfumer for a Mercenary. And we're going to see, yeah, Detention, Trump Card, Blink on the Opera. We've got um, Tide Knee Jerk on the Aeroplanist, Full Kite Build on the Magician, Borrow Time Knee Jerk on the Cord, and then Borrow Time Tide Turner on the Mercenary. So yeah. Different builds than last time though, definitely different builds. And here we go. Starting things off, we're going to see somebody take the kite. Uh, probably the, oh my gosh, is it Aeroplanist again? No, not Aeroplanist. Is it gonna be the coordinator? Oh, onto the coordinator, okay, okay. Let's see, will this coordinator be able to hit her gun though? That's the real question. Whoa, that knee jerk speed go funny. <laughs> that looks super good. Okay, drops, drops the, uh, the palette and shack, a very beautiful palette, by the way. One of my favorite palettes as a survivor. One of my least favorite palettes as a hunter. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens, dude. That happens so often nowadays. So many times where you try to get the gun out and then you, you just take the hit anyway. Which is why I think if coordinator gets any buff, just let her shoot the gun faster. Make her gun come out faster. Make it so anybody else who shoots the gun, like they did the same thing for Perfumer, right? Where Perfumer had a recent adjustment where whenever she perfumes back, it happens faster. I think coordinator needs the same buff where her gun comes out faster. That's what I think. Oh, and actually tell, oh, I was gonna say predicts, but there's the pause, that's funny. Oh wait, look at what the CN team has out here. Yeah, they got tons of merch. They got like freaking dogs, they got an embalmer figure, mercenary figure, ripper, two ripper figures, a gardener figure, Leo's freaking, uh, his, little, his little freaking shark plushy thing there. Okay, cool, they actually got like a whole desk and whatnot. That's actually really cool. I don't think I've seen this setup before. Anyway, back to the match. Pause is done now, blink is up, and death. <laughs> and death, yep. But yeah, I, the, the thing that I want for uh, Cord, um, because I feel like she, well, while she is still you know a pretty strong survivor, I just want her I just want her gun to come out faster. That's it, because she already stuns hunters longer with her gun. I just want it to be like you know come out a little bit faster, because there are just so many hunters that just hit her before it even comes out. Um, but you know, make, make all the other survivors you know shoot at the same speed, so if they pick up her gun, it's a little bit slower. But make it be like experience. Cord shoots the gun you know 20% faster. That's that's all it'll take. It'll 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 allow it'll allow Cord to actually you know use her one single item and actually use it correctly and not just you know cancel attack recovery with the gun while accidentally trading because it takes 10,000 years to come out. Like I don't know, dude. In, in, in a meta in a meta with like stunners that just have tens and tens of thousands of stuns like Prospector, Antiquarian. Uh, all that good stuff. Batter is another good one. Cord only gets one, and yet <laughs> it, it doesn't even work half the time, I swear. Don't get me wrong though, it is really good when it works. It is very good when it works, um, but you know, you could you could say the same thing for like Norton Magnet, which he gets three of at a time. And those darn things freaking recharge, dude. They freaking recharge. All right, uh, oh. 
opting to hide it out, and it doesn't really, uh, doesn't not really work out for the coordinator. Unfortunate. But the Cyphers aren't looking too bad, honestly. They're not looking too bad, because all they have to do now is just do the double Tide strat. Yep, Aeroplane's already come on in for the rescue, the other two just go work on the Cyphers, and they're gonna be a little slow on the, on the, on the final Cypher, but all you do here is you just have Aeroplanists rescue at the last possible second, you tied, and then corner dies in the corner, and that buy that buys you like a solid minute and a half of just free decoding time. If they can, you know, play it safe, don't get spotted, and uh, not get terror shocked also. <laughs> so yep, airplane is on, on and in here, it might just swing. Yep, just gonna opt to swing, I think. No, DX had Berserk, I'm not really sure what the opera has here. Um, but just gonna opt to kill the coordinator here. Uh, and, okay, a little bit of an odd dash there. Not really too many places to dash specifically there. And now, yep, Coordinator just gonna die off in a corner, away from all the ciphers. It, it looks like uh, Sans over there, the, the magician, did finish that cipher in that corner, so, yep. Just gonna die by this rock, and they should be able to draw this. This, sh this should be a draw. They're opening up a new cipher for some reason. I actually don't know why they're doing that. Um, Aeroplanist, why did you work on that cipher? I honestly don't know why. I, I really don't know, because now now you're spotted out. Now you're spotted out. I mean, I guess you still have resources. Maybe maybe it's a bait to try and get... Nah, she's going to go for the other ciphers. Yeah. Okay, well, now now you can go back to Shaq. Now you can go back to Shaq and work on that cipher, and he's just chilling there. I, I think he's still chilling there because if, if Opera TP's back. She's waiting, he's waiting to commit. He's waiting He's waiting for the commit, and then, then, he, can, then he can go work on it. And, yep, now he's going to go work on it. But the TP back anyway, and Mercenary it does get hit. Okay, it does indeed get hit. Um, but that cipher, that cipher here is at 80, which is really unfortunate. They they have a cipher that's so far along, and now they have to start up a completely new cipher. Only one left, but it's at 30. percent It is a mercenary chair time though, so that's that's the one good thing. And it, the thing is, if Opera teleports, they just he get the, the magician gets the rescue, and then they just double rush the cipher. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hovers away, hovers away. Does she TP back though? TP back, TP back, TP back. No. I mean, nobody's on the cipher. You have a pal to work with here? What? Is she lagging or is this me? I swear she was lagging there. What the heck? I don't know if that was stream buffer or what. Okay, this is actually looking really good for her now. Uh, Magician uses a wand to get closer. And does he get the rescue off in time? He does. Yo, the side. Okay, the, the stream or whatever is actually being super glitchy right now. I can't even lie. Mage actually used up a flywheel. And now she's. Yeah, you can just target down the mage. You can just target down the mage here now. He's gonna have to kite on top of where the cipher is. It's a really good kiting location, but it's it's up to this mage. It is up to this mage. Cause you still have self heal on mercenary. You still you, you, an aeroplane should just use up his self heal. Oh, wait, she's leaving the cipher. Gonna opt to go for aeroplane. Okay, aeroplane should just drag her away. Drag her away. Mage works on the cipher. She TP's back though. Yep, that's why you TP back. Maybe that was a little bit of a bait. Maybe a little bit of a little bit of a bait. Okay, there's the first hit. There's the first hit. He's doing a really good job of finding the cipher pop. Doing a beautiful job. One more wand. One more wand. He has to kite it out for like a solid 30 seconds, and he just vaults into her. Rip. All right. Well, that should be a 4K. That should be a 4K. Um, no, wait, but the mercenary gets up too. He finally gets up. Okay, and now they'll have two ciphers. They'll have two ciphers. Whatever one you commit towards, you just... Oh, boy. Okay, okay. This, this is kind of jank. This is kind of jank. You TP back. They're just gonna pop. They might just pop the cipher. They high K might just pop the. They might just pop the cipher here. Just pop the cipher, maybe. Oh, they're gonna wait for the rescue. They're actually doing this really well. They're they're, they're doing this. Okay, mercenary pops the cipher. Gets hit. Gets hit. Yep, and it's mercenary, so I can pop the cipher. There we go. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. There's no way they, they can actually draw this. I thought it was gonna be 4K, but the mercenary self heal actually like really mattered. Uh, they're all low on resources though. Charles uh, does have one more jetpack. Only one. Jetpack. Jetpack, Neum, Neum, Neum. Okay, nice. Baiting swings, baiting swings, but it's Opera because she's fast. Oh boy. And he's got no self heal, so now you can TP to the gate if you really wanted to. Uh, no. Has the game sense to opt to just chase the mercenary, I guess? They should be able to get one out here if she doesn't TP. But mercenary has to just, he has to survive for like a solid 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Nope, that's not enough. Now she just TPs. Now she just TPs. Oh, not gonna TP. Oh, that's a, that's a one escape then. That's a one escape. Okay, that's a one escape. Okay, that's not that's not a huge lead then. If that was a 4K, she, maybe she thought the gate was already gonna be open. Um, there's the TP and just leave, bro. Just leave. Oh, he's dancing. <laughs> hey, hey, be careful, bro. Be careful. 
All right, yeah, but the thing is, the other two don't have self healers, so it doesn't matter. That's, um, oh, but the dungeon. Wait. Nah, she knows, she knows. That's why, that's why, that, that's why he was stalling it out. That's why Mage was stalling it out. Oh my gosh, dude. If he was dead on chair, dude, if he was dead on chair, that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. That's why Mage was stalling it out. Now, I went to round two, second half. I just realized I didn't have the uh, commentator audio this entire time. I apologize for that. But anyways, we've got uh, the Bainster here going up against Antiquarian Psychologist, Patient, and the Mercenary. A rare time when we see uh, both Patient and Psychologist on the same team. I wonder if we'll be able to see their uh, their sprint ability here. Uh, but we are going to see Detention, Trump Card, and Excitement on the Bane. Excitement specifically for the Antiquarian, I guess. She's got Borrow Time Flywheel. Uh, patient Psychologist have Borrow Time Knee Jerk. And then and bar type tied to her on the mercenary of course now HGG is kind of chilling here they've got one point lead now I, I shouldn't say they're chilling but uh they have a point lead so they can play for draws here they can play for draws I mean obviously they can push for more when it arises but as long as you secure draws you're fine right because this in a survivor side of game you know if you can just keep getting draws you're gonna win it in the end that's that's all you really uh that's all you really need now I think the psychologist is gonna be taking the kite here first is what I saw let's see he's got the hunter's instinct looking down and yet, that is going to be the Psychologist. That is not very fast. Yeah, that, yeah, that is slow pallet breaking. Um, looks like he has fast picking, balloon up speed, berserker. Yeah, he, he really does not want to deal with this Antiquarian. Which I, I totally understand. Antiquarian is broken. But he brings excitement and fast uh, ballooning animation. Ooh, that actually hits the Cypher. Interesting. Okay, good. Not vaulting that. Good, good. <laughs> if you vaulted that, you were dead, Psych. That stress would not have saved you. Not at all. And we see some traps. Yep, there's the first trap. She's kind of just chilling there. And waiting for him to come around. Then you just rotate all the way back towards fourth. Do you go to four stop? Four stop? Where are you going? Where are you? Hello? I, I don't know what the plan was there. I don't know what the plan was there. She kind of just ran into the trap. I guess she wanted to take the hit? Uh, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, hook is up, so he can get a uh, he can get some speed here. I guess fourth is actually pretty bad against Bane because he can just yeah he can just do that, and she should just be dead here. Psychic doesn't have much to work with here, and there's the hook terror shock. Yeah, thing is she had she had no option, she had no option. And if you're when you're in, when you're caught in little areas like this against Bane, the hook is basically a guaranteed hit, and like and like and only if the Bane messes up, like it doesn't rely on the survivors to mess up. It is basically just the Bane sir. I think I, I swear I just saw a mouse. I swear I just saw a mouse. Like a freaking computer mouse. I don't I don't know if that was the streamers or something, but I swear I saw a mouse or something there for a second. Anyway, Mr. Inference Bro is chilling out here. Yeah, gets caught by the hook. Yeah, gonna stall it out here. Body block. Body block starts to go around. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Can't say I was expecting that. Gonna hit the psychologist here. Yep. And that's a full prez Bainster. Full prez on this Bane right now. And look at these ciphers. Not looking great at all. Not really looking to go. The Antiquarian is nearby, but again, fast pickup balloon, excitement. He's ready for this, dude. He is ready. He is 100% ready. Okay, drops the pallet for some reason. Oh, to make it easier for the Antiquarian, but excitement, excitement. Yup. Flywheel, flywheel, flywheel. It's good flywheel, good flywheel, good flywheel. Okay. Yeah, well, that, that guarantees a second chair, but now I have to deal with it for a second uh, for the rebound kite. Uh, Antiquarian is going to try and, you know, stall out this rescue, stall it out, stall it out. Okay, now she swings. Oh, oh, oh. Baited a swing, baited a swing, okay. And now, and now if, if Antiquarian body blocks, she's gonna have to take a hook and just go down to a hook. Let's see, swing, swing, okay, distance swing. Good, good, I think that's called stab. Oh, and that's called swing, and then there's another one, I forget what the other one's called. Oh! He swung that straight forward and that still hit, bro. That was like an actual 60 degree angle. I know it's like really close to him, but still, that's so jank. Bane's hook is the jankest thing ever, dude. Okay. I was about to say, if that hit... Jeez, dude. Bane's hook is so jank. And then... Yup, that hits, though. That hits. Oh! Why did he wait? You know she doesn't have flywheel. She doesn't use it. I don't know why he waited there. I don't, I don't know I don't know what that was all about. Antiquarian's back up again. Uh, misses her swing. Misses her swing and dies. Yep. That's my that's my average antiquarian gameplay right there. <laughs> Sykes actually doing not a bad kite here. I can't even lie. She's really just like staying out of the hook's range, and now she should be dead here though. Yeah, kind of kind of just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what you gotta do against the main hook. But even when you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it really doesn't matter half the time because you're just gonna die anyway. And um, 
Yeah, this 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 is uh this is her now dead on chair though, and now he can chair the antiquarian who has 50% flu and no self heal either. But the ciphers are looking good. This this they can make this a draw. They can definitely make this a draw. You pop that cipher, you chair. Wait, does she struggle free? No way. She might struggle this. Oh 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 no. She was really close. I bet she was probably pretty close. I'd say I'd say at least 90% minimum. If she if she had full struggle build. Uh, I'd say at least 90%. Patient is here. Just gonna take the hit. He still has... Oh, he has a hook for some reason. Or he lost a hook for some reason. I guess he probably used a hook to get to a Cypher faster. Saw that coming? Pop? Maybe? 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 No? Now we got Patient at 4th though. This is Patient at 4th. There's always... Oh, they're gonna wait for hook cooldown. Yeah. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. He's gonna try and down him with the hook. He's gonna try and down him with the hook. Yeah, he's gonna try and down him with the hook. Oh, I hate it when Banes do this. I hate it when they do... Oh, maybe drop down hit as well? No? No? <sighs> oh, that sucks! No! Patient! Patient! Buddy! Buddy! Why? You did it in front of him! Like, you, of course that wasn't gonna work! He knows you want a hook! That's the only option you have! That was so obvious. That was way too- and now- oh, dear. You have the mercenary going for this who dies to hook! He dies to hook! Although at least he has delayed damage, so he dies to hook and basic attack, though. Um, and he did use an elbow pad to get this rescue. Still has- he still had three elbow pads the whole time? What the heck? Okay. Just force out a basic hit here, guys. Force out a basic hit. Come on. Okay, mercenary vault. Dies. They just pop- they just pop- uh, 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 okay. Sure. And mercenary's got elbow pad, elbow pad. Careful, Bane can, Bane can hook through that though, that's the thing. Bane can hook through working carousel, you have to be so careful about that. Alright, patient's got one hook to work with here. It's hook v hook, hook v hook. Hook v hook. Let's see, let's see. Hooks for just straight distance, just straight distance. Just straight distance. No, no trick hooks or anything, just straight distance. Nice, good hook avoid. But that's as much as much you can do. Yeah, that's as much you can do. Dang, dude. T TZYM is kind of cooking as the Bainster here. I can't even lie, he is cooking. And, 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 teleport, teleport. Yeah, opting to TP, TP. But thing is, oh, it's Quarian. Oh, stall him out, stall him out. Okay, nice, nice. And he's gonna he's gonna go all the way back. He's gonna go all the way back. Yeah, it's Antiquarian on gate. She can still use her flute to get rid of the trap. I wonder if she'll do that. Uh she fly was oh she fly was a trap. Fly was a trap. That works too. That works too. Yeah. So gonna be able to get the rescue. But that, that means that that means both people are gonna be over there. So they, they need to just scatter. They need to just scatter. They need to split up right now and just absolutely scatter. Finds the mercenary, which is better for the survivors here. Still has an elbow pad. Where'd he where'd he go? Oh he used the elbow pad. I was like, where'd he go? <laughs> All right, this should this should be a this should be a draw. This should be a draw. This should be a draw. Mercenary can kite this out. He's got the pallet to work with. Doing really really well. Yep. Okay, he's gonna go down to hook here. Hook doesn't. I don't, I don't think hook gets the. I don't think hook uh, counts as detention. I'm pretty sure hook does not count as a like a detention power up. Yeah, it doesn't. It does not. It does not. Hook hook with detention power would be way too OP. But yeah, that's a draw. They they somehow got a draw. That looked really good for the Bainster. I can't even lie. That looked really good for him, and yet they still somehow got a draw. That's kind of crazy. On to the next match, we're going to see Lizard? DX has a Lizard? That's actually kind of surprising, I can't even lie. I mean, on Moonlit, I feel like he can be pretty good on Moonlit, but there's a Priestess and a Barmate? I don't know, buddy. Uh, and it's gonna be uh, an Aeroplanist, Forward, Priestess, and the Barmaid. Slower decoding is gonna be happening here, um, but we're going to see Borrow Time Flywheel on everybody, except for the Aeroplanist is Borrow Time Tide. So what the heck were they expecting? A wheel or something? A, dr a, a dream witch? Like, I guess maybe a dream witch? I don't know. Yeah, detention, uh, trump card, blink, but... Uh, uh, evil reptilian. I guess, I mean, it's er it's early on in Koa, so I guess maybe he's gonna be experimenting with, uh, with this. Uh, oh, I don't think I've seen this skin before. This is a cool skin, yo. The black freaking suit, the white hair, and the red, the red tail. Okay, okay. That's a cool looking skin. Again, I haven't seen this one before. All right, build is looking pretty standard. Um, also gonna opt to have fast uh, picking up balloon speed, berserker, all that good stuff. And let's see, this is barmaid taking the kite. Gotta take an early hit here, most likely. Uh, I guess he was baiting speed drink, maybe? Probably baiting speed drink. But yeah, I, I, when you're a barmaid, you usually wanna save the speed drink for, um... oh, forward, forward. Oh, forward, forward's getting off a cypher to at least guarantee the, uh, 
The drink. Okay, there's the speed drink. There's a speed drink. So she gets the drink off. She gets the bottle off. So it's gonna be three hits. It's gonna be three hits. Um, but the one bad thing is this also gives him. This also makes him closer to uh, to full prez. Okay, she actually does get the mix off. She does get the mix off. And let's see. Here, here comes the second hit. Oh, forward, for Oh, buddy, forward. Oh, the flywheel though. The flywheel. Good stuff. That, that okay. High key. That football was so unnecessary. It was so unnecessary. Just let let, let Barmay take the hit. Let, let her take the hit. I guess I guess he's trying to secure distance for a reason. I I don't know. Um, okay, okay, here we go. And boom, trying to secure distance so that that see that that football I agree with. That one I went. Oh, he's just gonna be on the forward now. On the forward now. Okay, he balls to the balls to the pallet. Okay, blinks for the hit though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is looking really good for HHCG. See that that football use was so good because you it, it, it secured the barmaid being able to get her second drink off. So barmaid successfully got both drinks off, still has her flywheel, and now forward is taking the kite. Who again honestly isn't that bad because his his ball is almost out. And the thing is, he's the worst decoder. So everybody else can now cipher rush. Well, Priestess has bad decoding too. But I think hers is only a 10% decoding buff. While forward is a 30%, I'm pretty sure. It's it's a major decoding buff. Uh debuff rather. And it's gonna optus go down right there. Um, ball is all gone. Yeah, so that that's honestly a fine. That's honestly pretty fine. Um, the ciphers are a little slow though. They are a little slow. I mean, again, priest is forward, but um, the person they have on chair right now is probably the person that they you know ideally would want to have on chair. And they still have a priestess, so they they can do long portal shenanigans if they really want to. Um, let's see. Do are we gonna see a long portal at all? Hey, okay, he really wants double downs. I see him. He, that's the second time he's gone for like the harasser slash supporter. Okay, and he's just gonna just get to get the basic hit here. Basic hit, basic hit. I'll oh, drop down. Yeah, he wanted to drop down instead. Drop down. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter in hindsight. Yeah, with Tide Turner, it really doesn't matter in hindsight. Okay. All right, low the ciphers. Oh, look at those ciphers. Oh, look at those ciphers. They're looking very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, and then Aeroplay's gonna have to get off his cipher though. That's pretty close by. Yep, he can pressure it with all these jumps. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, Grand Slam. And I think I saw Long Portal set up. Okay. But there is no more Tide Turner. And wait, why did... Why, wait, two people got off the Cypher? What the heck? Uh, That was kind of weird. I don't know what happened there. Um, Flywheel? Oh, he bit it out, though. He knew. He knew. He knew he had Flywheel. He knew he had Flywheel. There's no Harassers. Okay. Well, that's a kill. That's a kill. Dang, I thought it was going really well for them. But I guess the... I, you know, to be fair, the first hit on the barmaid was like 10, 15 seconds in. He's going to opt to break the long portal here, which buys him enough time to decode. Oh, Priestess comes back through. He's going to try and pop the Cypher. And, yep, okay, they can't, they can't. So now now he knows. Now he knows that Cypher's at 92. So they either have to open up a new one or send in somebody like, you know, drag him away from it. He actually doesn't have that much energy. This is probably a draw. This, this is looking like, this is probably going to be a solid draw. So barmaid, yep, is going to try and drag him away. Fly was the grand slam. Good, good. But she, yeah, she's dragging him all the way away. Uh, that was kind of jank looking. They're not really that close to it, though. That's the thing. They're not really that close. He's going to, oh, he's going to go optical back for it. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to optical back for the Cypher. He knows that Cypher's way too far along. Okay. Are we going to jump? Are we going to see jumps? TP, maybe? TP? I feel like I feel like you can't TP, though. Nah, hey, at, th at this point, he, oh, Priestess sets up a portal into Basent for some reason. Uh, oh, he TP. He TP to it, and then just pop. Wait a minute. I was too busy looking at the uh, the freaking priestess portaling down in the basin for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is all about. Um, uh, what? He just he just straight up just sat there and did it, right in his face. Like he did he didn't even care. Okay, long portal. He breaks the pallet with the grand slam to cross over. That's funny. I mean that's a draw. That's that's just a draw. I mean don't get me wrong. I love seeing the lizard come out, but. That was just kind of a standard game, honestly. Like, besides the forward harassment, that was a, just a pretty standard game. Break that long portal. Yeah, break that long portal. Yeah, good stuff. Still a draw, though. Oh, everybody, he's not done yet, though. He's not done yet. We're going to see the evil reptilian run back with a different build this time. Detention Insolence Peepers. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know what, I don't know what map it is just yet. But we're going to see uh, Acrobat Forward, Psychologist, and the Embalmer. So I think they really like their forward here. Um, we've got borrow time Nidric on Mike, borrow time Tide on the forward, and then borrow time Flywheel Psychologist, and then full full kite build on the Embalmer actually, which is fine. That's 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 completely fine. I guess they're like playing really like aggressively for a draw here or something because they have like the full kite Embalmer and whatnot. 
Yeah, this this is this is looking like a draw. This feels like a very solid draw build. But again, H A T G can like if they as long as they can keep getting draws, they're fine. Because again, they have they have one extra point. They have one extra kill, um, on on, on their team on their team. And it uh, looks like D X did switch up the build ever so slightly, uh, with his other effects. Not 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 the you know main effects here. Still has fast picking up balloons, but he's gonna have a little bit of stun reduction as well. Um, you know to 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 run the forward harassment. It looks a little like uh, looks like a little bit, and. He is getting rotated, uh, didn't chase the person in Big Boat, and the Psychologist is right over here, but he doesn't find a target just yet. Is it going to be the forward again? Is it really going to be the forward again? They're probably fine with this. This, this That's the thing. They're probably fine with forward taking the kite, because it's a forward. He, he can just, yep, he can just transition to a better area. Uh, buddy? I don't know if that was the best judgment. He's going to take a hit here. No, he's going to ball. He's going to ball. All right, balls to this pallet. Drop pallet, drop pallet. Peeper, peeper. Sees the peeper and just walks to the pallet. Balls to the, oh my gosh, he's using up all his ball. That's all his ball. That's literally all of his ball. No harassment, no harassment, okay. All of that ball, dude, all that ball already used up. He drops his pallet, he drop, drop pallet, drop pallet, yep. He jumpy, he jumpy, he jumpy. Tries to, ooh, tries to mix him up, but he doesn't fall for it. He just, he just doesn't even care. He's like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna get a distance, who cares? Who cares about your jumps, I'm gonna get a distance. And he's gonna opt to leave the forward now? Yep, gotta be on the acrobat. Uh, I don't know if I agree because the forward had no items. He had no items. Now, now you're chasing. Now you're chasing acrobat with full items. Yep. Still has two more balls to work with. Oh boy, DX, you're kind of getting schmixed here, buddy. I don't think. I don't think lizard is just the right play. Oh, dude, that's the second time. Why are you just stopping? Why are you just stopping? What's the point? Why are they just like sitting in front of them? They're like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just give him the hit. I'll just give him the hit. I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know why they just sit there. Like, at least keep walking. If you're gonna take the hit, keep walking. Get more distance that way. Why just sit there and let it have it? Uh, he does not make this. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, acrobat. Okay, okay. Good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. You'll love to see the mic gaming and look out for grand slam. Nope, doesn't even use for grand slam. Oh, tries to tries to mind game through, but he got stuck on him. Yeah, tried to mind game on the little tree, but yeah, just. Just kind of a uh, forward. You don't have a ball. Don't even. Don't even try, buddy. <laughs> you've got. You've got a syringe. You got a freaking syringe, buddy. You got a syringe. Oh boy. Okay, they actually are being forced off their ciphers here, because the middle cipher isn't done. He drops a peeper at the middle cipher, and forward has to stay here for to go for the rescue. So I guess. I guess they can go. No, they're gonna. He's gonna transition back. Uh, the bomber's gonna go transition back toward the. Uh, toward the cipher in the back corner. So now the biggest thing for forward is to he has to not get hit by grand slam. Does get by grand slam. Oh, but gets the rescue off in time. He gets the rescue off in time. Okay. Just barely gets the rescue off in time. Good good stuff to forward. Good stuff to forward. I wonder. I actually don't know if it's a true combo where you can, like, Grand Slam into into hit, where it completely prevents the rescue. Maybe, maybe if you're, like, right at the chair, it doesn't matter. And, yep, he's going to hit forward. That's a double down, though. That is a double down. And they're going to actually opt to cough in the Acrobat, who will use the coffin immediately. Okay. Yeah, they just they just want to push that uh, that push that Cypher Rush, keep people alive. Does not want to give uh, DX any momentum here. No, no momentum given at all. Yep, Acrobat goes back into that corner, and does he get aggressive? The middle cipher is at 42, so he's at the middle cipher. They have to open up a new one, and oh, he's gonna go back for the Acrobat. Oh my gosh, he actually goes all the way back for the Acrobat. What the heck? He does have a bomb ready. His fire bomb is ready. Mind gaming the pallet. Mind gaming. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Acrobat can't kite this out though. I was gonna say that the thing is, it's really good to go for the Acrobat here. I kind of agree because uh, here's the reason. He was in the air! He was in the air! What? He was in the freaking air! What the heck is that? That's so weird. Anyway, uh, the reason why they did that was because Psychologist probably would just whistle to the Acrobat and he would have got healed. That was jank though. That looked so jank. He was in the air and the firebomb still like. Yeah, that was jank. That was super jank. Okay, well, he is—he is done on chair because they did use a coffin on him, um, and I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that what they wanted was for him to guard the forward, ignore the coffin, and then they wanted to psych whistle him and keep him alive. But uh, yeah, now now at this point they're a little stuck. Now psych is working on this cipher, but they get the heels off, and now they can go back to middle. And it's big boat though. It's big boat, and it's a psych with stress. So she can she can tank hit she can she can tank hits all day they're gonna go to double rush the cipher gonna drop a peeper here so the entire big boat is gonna be a little bit slower uh, you can see where you're going so you can't really mind game him walking right into him okay we just committed even though we clearly saw him flywheel for the psychologist beautiful beautiful stuff 
And just gonna go for the basic hit there. But again, you have to go for two more of those unless you can get a grand slam. And he is actually, well, goodly not, uh, what's good is he is actually accumulating energy here. He's trying to pressure down both these Cyphers, but he, he's, he's gonna lose this in the end. They're gonna actually opt to set up a third Cypher. And he they know, he, yeah, they, he cannot pressure three Cyphers. No, not three of them. Okay, he's gonna just keep committing out this way for some reason. Uh, but the psychologist cipher at Big Bo is almost done. I guess, I guess maybe he knows this is the forward, and the forward's already been on chair, so maybe that's why he just wants this to be his next target. He's like, well, if they're gonna pop the cipher anyway, let, let's at least make forward my next chase target, right? Let's at least let's at least stay on the forward, so I can potentially, you know, get him down pretty quickly and um. Or before uh, during end game, and then I can maybe just like jump all the way to a gate. But the thing is, he's he's preserving a lot of energy here. He's got lots of energy, so he can actually kind of wait this out. And he's leaving the forward for some reason. I don't know why he left the forward. Okay, I thought I, I actually don't know what his game plan is here now. I really don't. I really don't know what his game plan is here now. He's 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 lost. He's so lost. He can't find anybody. Yeah, I'm gonna start using his jumps now. Yeah, but there, that look at all that all that energy. Okay, wait, that was super accurate. That was super, super accurate. He had to he had to use up the flywheel, but that's that's, that's a draw again. That's another draw. Yep. I thought I thought the play was gonna be you just pray that you get forward down. Really? Oh, he's gonna slug. But he doesn't he doesn't make it. He doesn't make it. He doesn't make it. You can jump all the way. Actually, if Embalmer self heals, there's a small chance he could get out. He used up all your energy over here. Nah, he doesn't self heal in time. He he can he had to kite it out or something, but yeah, that's just, that's not happening. Yeah, that is not happening. Um, let's see. Does does he even get up? Does he even get up? It's a 54. He doesn't. I don't think he gets up. I think when he gets up, he's gonna be like on top of him if he even does. The peeper the peeper just reduces the healing so much. Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't get up. He doesn't get up. He doesn't get up. <laughs> Doing some little circles. Yep. He doesn't make it up thanks to the peeper. Okay. Okay. Well, again, that's a draw. That's just another draw, dude. Good stuff to uh, to DX, but. I don't know if Lizard is the correct play here. I just don't know. Alrighty, on to round three, second half. We're going to see Nightwatch coming out. Love to see Ithaqua. We got Detention, Insolence, Teleport. Interesting build here. We're going to see Borrowed Time, Nidric on the Barmaid along with the Seer, and then Borrowed Time, Titer on the Forward uh, along with the Acrobat. So pretty similar uh, matching builds here. And the they, thing is, FPX DQ, um, they need to get a three escape to continue the set here. They need to get a three escape. Um, and honestly, I actually don't remember who wins this set. I don't remember, because I know both these teams, I think, qualify, so I forget who wins the set here. I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they, like both these teams are already gonna be in Global Finals already, because they are two very, very strong teams, and this is just very early on in the bracket. It all comes down to this game here. We're gonna see the Morningstar Nightwatch going for the big suck right from the start. Instant starts charging up here. And let's see, who are we gonna opt to chase first here, buddy? You're actually gonna go to Big Boat? Really? No, okay, just kinda walking on through. He has Claustrophobia as well. Claustrophobia, panic, uh, fast picking up. Okay, and and hunter's instinct. Okay, so a little a little bit of a. I guess I guess this is there to mainly like secure the draw because cla claustrophobia teleport dude is super good. For those who don't know, claustrophobia when four survivors are um, at end game, it makes the exit gate open super slowly. I, I think it's like for the first 20 seconds or something, the exit gate is gonna open like dummy slow. So basically, it, it takes like 35 seconds to open the gate instead of 20 seconds, uh, which can buy you a lot of extra time. And he's just gonna opt to teleport right from the start onto the seer here. He can tank three hits. Gonna just use an alpha. Just hit it. Just hit it for presence. Hit, hit it for presence. Hit it for presence. Please tell me you hit it for presence. No, hit it for presence, dude. Actually, wait. No, just hit it for. You know what? I actually don't know what you should have done there. I would have hit that for presence if I was running insolence because then I would have fast one already. Um. So yeah, I, I don't know why he just didn't swing. Okay, forward, forward, forward. Boop. There we go. There we go. Man, that's a decently long stun. He's, he's, he, oh my gosh, he's there for a long time. Sheesh, he is there for a while. Okay, not gonna, not gonna use his dash right yet. Uh, why are they, oh, they bottled the seer. Wait, they bottled him. Okay, the teamwork from FPX CQ is looking really good right now. Really, really good. That is slow. Oh my gosh, that looks so slow. I run, I run max breaking, or max fast uh, pallet breaking speed. Oh, swapping to the barmaid? Uh, you know what? I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Because the thing is, she uses bottle and speed, and then she's out of bottles here. But the thing is, if you keep chasing a seer, he's gonna just get owls. He's just gonna get owls. And he has no owls to give to his teammates right now. Um, there we go. That's so slow, dude. What? 
That is so slow. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, the bottle. The bottle will barely got off. That was like one second. One second away from that bottle not working. I would have been so mad, dude. I would have been so mad. That's that, that's, that's me against Barmaid every time, dude. That's me against Barmaid every time. I swear. Whenever I try and like prevent their drink, I swear I fail 90% of the time. And I'm always like, you know, just barely so close away from the hit. But they always seem to just, like, you know, within one second get the hit off. And right now the Cyphers are spread out, but they're not looking too bad right now. Not too bad. Ooh, okay. That was, that was some really good uh, mind games there. That's, that was a really nice mind game around that pallet uh, from both uh, from both players there. But there we go. Nightwatch is now at full presence, though. Now at full presence. He does have, that's his first chair, though, which has been unfortunate. That is indeed his first chair. Second Cypher done, and the rest are, you know, they got some decent progress on them. And uh, the thing is, though, if you're FBXDQ, you need a three escape here. You would need a three escape here. HHTG, they just play for a draw and they just, they take it, they take it. Okay, Acrobat flies on in. He avoids a slow bomb there. Good stuff, good stuff. Gets the hit, zooming on in. There's the rescue. And that, oh, I forgot about Acrobat had tied. <laughs> I, I actually forgot the Acrobat had tied. So now Barmaid just dies off in a corner. Yep, you can't really, yeah, you can't really kite. So your, your goal is just die in a corner. Just waste time. Yep, he's gonna be like, no, 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 no. You're not going as far as you want to. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Yep, just gonna opt to die right here. And look, look at those ciphers climb, dude. Look at those ciphers climb. Now, now you just have forward finish that cipher. He comes on in. Mike is actually using bombs just to get to the cipher faster. That is so goofy. And instead of printing the rescue, he's actually in, oh, okay, okay. Ooh, really good ball from the forward. He didn't have much ball left, but that was that was like the perfect time to use it right there, because he would have actually probably had the uh, the rescue prevent it if he didn't. Uh, Go for that. Actually, wait a minute. Right here, he's gonna have. He's gonna. He TPs to it. No way. No way, dude. No way. And now he can't. He can't get the rescue. He can't get the rescue. Yeah, I don't. Okay, that was that was good. That was good. That was actually good. I can't even lie. That was really good. And now that that's that's it. That's it. Basically, that's it. Look at the wiggling. <laughs> the wiggling, dude. Yeah, dude, that the, that was actually a really good aggressive play from the Nightwatch. Moving away from the chair, thinking, like, having a good idea of where everybody's going to come in. Look at this movement, look at this movement, look at that movement, look at that movement, look at that movement. Look at that. That's some movement right there. Okay, okay. He's trying to get as close to the chair as possible without without getting hit. And then big suck. Probably go for hit. Yep. That was prime prime. Dang, he went down. He Dude, he basically did, like, a freaking roll. He didn't even go, he didn't even lie on the ground. He basically just like fell to the ground and rolled his way back up. Jeez. That was one of the fastest pops I've ever seen in tournaments. Sheesh. Usually at least takes like a half a second, but that was like instant, bro. And this, that's a draw. This is just a draw. He doesn't, he doesn't have teleport, but that's okay. He, he secured the one kill and now he gets his end game kill. Going for the stickers too. Dang, that's so fast. Jeez. The fast, the fast picking up speed, dude. That is so quick. I thought it only increased by 20%. My goodness. And yeah, that's that's it. They they lose the set because that's a that's a draw. Yep, <laughs> it's the end of the video. They even have the freaking next videos pulling up there. Yep, that's a draw. All right, good stuff to HHDG. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for today. Once again, uh, HHDG and FPXQ they both did uh, qualify. If you are uh, indeed curious, we will see them in the good old global finals coming out very very soon. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. So I suppose I will see you all later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.